Hi guys, it's Amazing Purple Girl back with the excavation of Hobbs Barrow part 5. Now I know I normally start in the menu but I did all my signing off in this field of pink in Thomas Eda's Nightmare and then found I couldn't save. So <laughs> this is actually just after the last video and I'm just recording this bit and then I will stitch together so let's get through the nightmare who are you? creepy very creepy hello Thomasina what is this? Wh who are you? I'm the one that saved your father. What do you mean? He were here 25 years ago. Were he? My father? He were deep down with the others. He were there and something went wrong. I dragged him out. Impossible. I helped him then and I can help him again. I, I don't understand. Believe my words. You'll find proof in morning. Right. Now go. Okay. Don't have to tell me twice. One more thing. You told me to go. Okay. This is not a dream. Yes, it is. It's pink. XP score. The second day. And an achievement for that. Sleep well, Thomasina? Goodness, that was a terrible sleep. Oh, uh, no. Okay. Let's see it. Shake it all out. Yeah, I'm sorry there's been a bit of a delay after I said I would just get on with it. Um, I've just not been finding the time to record in the evenings. And then I put up that little video of my roundup of Adventure X of the demos I played. And that actually took me two evenings to edit. So a, a little 20 minute video, which doesn't seem overly complicated. It's just me talking and then trailers of the, the games. But for some reason, the editing just took forever. But anyway, like I said, the first part of this video, which is uh, Thomasina's Dream. I recorded that uh, about a week ago. So, <laughs> I am back now, so let's get into it. What's this? It's a book, Thomasina. There's a strange stone strapped to the cover. Indeed. Strange stone strapped. Hard to say. Here we go. Day one. Arrived after a decent day's ride from Bakewell. This is a curious place. Locals seem distant. I'm to meet my local contact tomorrow, so it'll be an early night for me. I shall try to keep a diary of my stay here and not give up by day three of the excavation as usual. Despite the thrill of possible new discoveries, I cannot stop thinking about my dear wife and wonder if I should have left her in her current state. I must have faith that she will conquer this bout of illness. Day 4. True to form, my journal has been abandoned. Let that not speak for the excitement I feel for this excavation. After much preparation, we dig tomorrow. Such an exceptional site with a unique history. As for the dangers, we shall meet them head first. We are prepared. I also sought out a local wise woman yesterday and she provided me with a tincture for my beloved nausea gravidarum. I am sure she shall be pleased with it upon my return. Lo, a place of miracles. A planted seed sprouted before our eyes and illuminated our path. Nature's laws hold no meaning here, but I clutch my tablet with the knowledge that it shall end this. 
we found the code was simply in the singularity of the characters. All eyes must face towards the seventh arch archontic. Archontic? Archontic. When the sun and the two moons meet, the guardian shall be defeated. A dead language reveals the path. For thou art the moon, the chief of the stars. Listen to the things that I have said. Follow the words of my mouth. Reveal thyself to me. I heard a whisper, not once, again and again. I will pour out my spirit. I will pour out my spirit. I will pour out my spirit. It appears to be a journal. Full of hogwash. Full of hogwash. You recognise the handwriting. Ah. Maybe Stanley knows more about it. Possibly. Well, possibly. It's not hogwash at all. It might come in handy Good later. Morning. How's your head, Miss Bateman? That was quite the tune you treated us to <laughs> last night. To be honest, Stanley, I felt better. I take it you slid this journal under my door? I beg your pardon? The journal, Stanley. I certainly did no such thing. Nor could have anyone else. You're the only guest staying here. What's the meaning of all this? Do you propose that it manifested itself out of thin air? Well, uh... Objects do not appear from nowhere. You must have put it there. Miss Bateman, I've never even seen this book before. I'm sorry. I just don't understand how else it could have got there. Are you sure there was no one else here overnight? Without doubt. How very, very peculiar. So, what does it say inside? Hogwash. I said I was going to be honest, didn't I? Take a look. Well, I can't make head nor tail of it. Neither no. can I. Maybe someone else in the village can help you with it. Maybe. What do you make of this stone? <clears throat> That's a funny looking thing. Mm -hmm. It's got a cockerel on it. Yes, but have you seen anything like it? Never. <gasps> Never in all my days. <laughs> do you ever have strange dreams, Stanley? Me? I sleep as sound as a baby. I had one such dream last night. It was so vivid. <laughs> what were it about? It was a week ago. <laughs> I was at Hobbs Barrow. Oh? But everything was different. Great peaks soared in the distance. And there was a creature. A creature, you say? Yes. A short, robed fellow. Eyes as black as pitch. It told me that my father had been there in Hobbs Barrow many years ago. But something went wrong, and the creature helped him escape. It said that I would find proof in the morning. Mm. Oh, the journal. You've had a premonition, lass. Yeah. Please, Stanley, I've no time for that nonsense. But I'll admit it's a strange coincidence. Very. Now, what did I tell you about Hobbs Barrow? That I should leave it alone. Aye. Hogwash. Your dream reminds me of a story from my childhood. An old folk tale. About Hobbs Barrow. Now he tells us. What is this folk tale you mention? Well, when I were a wee boy, there were talk of a goblin. <laughs> they say he lived inside Hobbs Barrow, hence the name Hobbs Barrow. Hob, Hob Goblin. Coming from Hob Goblin, of course. Unfortunately, I don't remember anything else about it. I was told not to believe in such fairy tales, Stanley. Mm. Don't close your mind to such things, lass. I'm sure Mr. Shoulder will tell you more. Perhaps, <laughs> if I ever meet him. Here, Goodbye. He See you soon. Good morning, Mr. Kemp. Good day, Miss Tompkins. I'm here for his lordship's paper. Sorry, lass. Mr. Price hasn't dropped them off this morning. I heard he actually left the village yesterday. Indeed. I can vouch for that. Ma'am? Good day. Oh, dear. His lordship won't be pleased. My sincerest apologies, Miss Tompkins. I'll come back in a few days. Ta-ra. Goodbye. 
Tara. Right. What's this? Shiny, the shiny. Is stuck deep in the table. Well, try and get it out. Goodness yep. me, I can't budge it. Be careful, Miss Bateman. Mm. You'll cut yourself. Sure. I spent all morning trying to get <laughs> that bloody thing out. Of course you did. I shall be having words with that scoundrel next time he shows his face. Sprite didn't cut his fingers off. <sighs> Curses. We have our very own Excalibur. It's all yours if you can pull it out, King Arthur. <laughs> nah, I'll go and find someone who can. Right, I need to convince okay. Mr. Bryden to let me excavate Hobbs Barrow and find out mm -hmm. where this journal came from. Curses! I forgot I had this worm <laughs> in my pocket. Poor thing is dead now. Rest in peace, Kenneth. Poor Kenneth. Very foggy. Oh, hello, Reverend. I mean, Father. Good morning, Father Roach. Ah, Miss Bateman. What a pleasure to see you again. Have you tracked down Mr. Shoulder yet? Don't get me started. I'll take that as a no. Indeed. Do. Do you recognize this journal? Hmm. What a tatty old thing. You ought to take better care of your possessions, Miss <laughs> Bateman. It's not mine. Then whose is it? That's precisely what I'm trying to find out. I'm afraid I can't help you. I haven't seen it before. What do you make of this stone? Hmm. I don't recognize the symbol from any Christian iconography. Hmm. Did you make it yourself? No, never mind. What brings you to the square today? I'm meeting a couple of young congregation members to go over some scripture. You're welcome to join us. Oh, thank, thank you, Father Roach, but I have quite a busy day ahead of me. We will be at St. Yes. Edmunds, should you wish to join us later. Definitely have a busy day. What do you know of Lord Panswick? Oh, yes. A rather important fellow around here. His vast land holdings give many a steady employment. Thanks for your time. Lord be with you. Thomasina! Good morning, Arthur. You look a bit addled. Are you feeling all right? I am not used to drinking as much as we <laughs> did. Aye. My head is pounding. To tell you the truth, Arthur, I've had a somewhat puzzling morning. Oh? Someone slipped this journal under the door of my room. Whose journal is it? I have no idea. The text refers to some sort of excavation. Well, Stanley must be playing tricks on you. He swore his innocence. I thought perhaps you might have done it? No, <laughs> it wasn't me. That's for certain. Somehow, I have a clear memory of last night. I wonder who left me this journal, then? Mind if I take a closer look? Please, go ahead. The writings of a madman. Mm. I don't disagree. Do the sketches mean anything to you? No, not at all. But they turn me stomach. You might want to show this to Mother Mildred. Who? Who is Mother Mildred? Some think her a witch. A witch? Aye. She might be able to help you with the symbols. Where can I find her? She lives alone in a little cottage within Hearn Wood here. You shouldn't have too much trouble finding her. Thanks, Arthur. You're welcome. Well, I definitely won't have trouble finding her. What do you make of this stone? It's a good shape for skimming across water. <laughs> what is it? I'm not sure. It was strapped to the cover of the journal. How mysterious. I had a splendid time last night. Good. Hi. I even remember most of it this time. Thanks for listening to me going on. I really appreciate it. The feeling is mutual. Thank you too, Arthur. Shouldn't you be manning the station? The line is down. Ah. Track damage between Bewley and Bakewell. Oh no. No trains for a day or more. Does that mean I'm stranded here? Yep. For the time being, Thomasina. Capital. That means that Kenneth can't get here. Why do people think Mother Mildred is a witch? 
Just because a woman lives alone in the woods doesn't mean she flies about on a broomstick. There's more to it than that. They say she lays with demons. <gasps> Who are they? They? Oh, you know, local folk. Hogwash. Some also go to her for potions and spells. Spells? Come now, Arthur. Truth be told, she's a nice old lady. Mm. I sometimes see her foraging in the brambles around here. Will she burn at the stake sometime soon? You might think us backward in Beulah, Thomasina, but we're not that backward. <laughs> Sorry, Arthur. I only meant to tease. Goodbye. Ta ra. Ta ra. Oh, flashback. Thomasina, dear, come say goodbye to your father. Hmm. Come on now, don't make him wait. Don't want to say goodbye. I don't want to. Told you. Aren't you going to miss me? I hate you, Daddy. Those are strong words for such a little lady. I want to come with you. We've been through this, little bird. You can't come with me this time, but we'll go to Seabra next month. I promise. Oh, what a dig that shall be. I hate you. Well, I love you. See you soon, little bird. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. That was the last excavation that he did. Hello, Mother Mildred. Please, forgive my intrusion. Are you Mother Mildred? Some call me that. I prefer Mildred Walker, given as that's my name. Apologies. Thomasina Bateman. I think we met at Bewley Station. We did. I take it Panswick's men have cleared off. They Good have. Good riddance. Those ruffians would cut their own noses off if he asked them to. I recognised you the moment I laid eyes on you at the station. I beg your pardon? Oh, yeah, it's quite a striking family resemblance. You have your father's eyes, Miss Bateman. You knew my father? Such piercing blue eyes he had. What a handsome young man, William. He was here, in Bewley. Oh, yes. A long time ago, mind. Twenty-five years by my reckoning. But I'll never forget those eyes. Not sure why I'd got an achievement. And I, I know what it was for, but I was literally just talking to her. Why was my father in Bewley? He were helping Samuel Bryden excavate Hobbs <laughs> Barrow. Bryden. You must be jesting. Do I look like I'm jesting? 25 years ago. How did you come to meet my father? One might say I have a reputation in these parts. Folks from all around come to me for help with their ailments. Ernwood is abundant with flora that, if mixed correctly, will cure almost any ill. Your father must have caught wind of this. As one day he came to me, asking for a cure. A cure for what? Your mother was with child, and she was suffering the most terrible nausea. Adam. I made something to help her. The journal. This was entered in the journal. Yep. It belongs to my father. What journal? The journal. Take a look at this. A passage recalls meeting a local wise woman to seek a tincture for his beloved's nausea gravidarum. Aye, that's me. I made the tincture for him. This... this is incredible. Yep. You don't recognise your own father's handwriting? No. It's been so many years since I've seen it. What do you make of this stone? I-A-W. I haven't a clue. Perhaps it's an old folk trinket, or a talisman of some kind. The moors are steeped in folklore. What can you tell me about the excavation? Well, not much. I only met your father twice. The last time he asked me if I knew anything about binding magic. 
Mm. Binding magic. He said he needed it for the excavation. Doesn't sound Hogwash. like him. My father is a man of logic and reason. Why would he be asking about such nonsense? Perhaps you don't know him as well as you think you do. Mm. Anyway, I know nothing of magic and told him so. He seemed disappointed. I never saw him again, but I understand the excavation went ahead. Samuel bride and hanged himself not long after. Mm. Reason enough for you to stay well clear of that place. Something went wrong. You never saw my father again after the excavation? No. I always assumed he just went home. Hmm. Who excavated Hobbs Barrow alongside Samuel Bryden and my father? From memory, it were just the two of them. Hmm. Well, Mr. Bryden has a different story. Charles Bryden mentioned there was a third man involved in the excavation. Is that so? Well, you'd best ask him about it. He knows more than I do. What do you think my father meant by binding magic? I've no idea. He didn't explain more and I didn't wish to pry. Hmm. This just doesn't sound like my father at all. Nope. You'll have to ask him yourself. You I'm can't. afraid my father has been incapacitated since I was a child. He cannot speak nor move. Terrible. Oh, I I'm sorry. You said that the flora here could cure almost any ill. Almost, my dear. But your father's affliction sounds beyond my abilities. The landlord of the Plough and Furrow told me about a folk tale associated with Hobbs Barrow. Something about a goblin. Are you familiar with it? No doubt there is such a tale. Name any beastie you can think of and someone round here will have a story <laughs> about it. My thoughts precisely. Beastie. Can you tell me anything about Leonard's shoulder? I know of him, as is the nature of such a small town. I also know he invited you here. Little escapes you, Miss Walker. Yep. So they say. My path rarely crosses with his, let's put it that way. But he's a nice enough fellow. I see. Do you know Lord Panswick? I know his labourers make a mess of these woods, the brutes. The man himself hasn't graced me with his presence. You've never met him? Not since he were a wee lad. A maid brought him to me with a sore stomach. It were all the rich food they were feeding him, now more. Thank you for your help, Miss Walker. Thank you, Miss Walker. Miss Walker reminds me of Siberia. Miss Bateman? Oh, yes. Yes. Remember what I told Rude. you when we first met? You're better off waiting for the next train back to the city. Why? Something terrible happened to Samuel Bryden in that barra. Whatever mm. they found down there, I'd wager it got to your father too. Yeah. Tell I me think you so. won't disturb Hobbs Barra. You can't make that promise, Mildred. No, can't she can't. Say I didn't warn you. Well, There's something unnatural about that place. We must seek to understand the world by rational means, Miss Walker. Mm -hmm. One cannot abandon reason. Indeed. Thomasina, Thomasina, come here this instant. Mm, I'm mommy. playing with Josephine. She can wait. This is very important. <laughs> Let's go. What is it, Mummy? It's... it's your father. Daddy's home? No, my dear. I must go to Bakewell with haste. Miss Bowes will look after you whilst I'm gone. Is that clear? Where's Daddy? He's had... an accident. What happened? He's come off his horse. Mm. Silly Daddy. Will he be alright? Of course. Of course he will be fine. Your father is as strong as an ox. But I need to go collect him, alright? Can't I come too? No, dear. Miss Bowes will look after you. But I want to come. Go pick up your dolls, then come inside, alright? Yes, Mummy. Okay, Mummy. There's only one doll. Josephine, it's time to go inside now. Where did Mummy go? Gone.
distracted you. Resin has been oozing from the stump. It looks set now. I just caught that with my mouse. Right. Oh. I helped him then. And I can help him again. Oh, hello, girl. Arthur, what are you looking at? He is staring intently into the woods. Arthur, you won't believe it. The journal belongs to my father. He was here in Bewley. Arthur? Hello? Oh, sorry. I'm trying to remember something. What is it? I'm not sure. Mm, something is, in the woods. This is very come odd. Back to me. You say your father were in Bewley? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mildred said that he helped Samuel Bryden excavate Hobbs Barrow 25 years ago. Well, I'll be. Let's talk about it tonight at the plough. Are you sure? That's fine, Arthur. We'll talk later. I hope you piece together your memories. He is acting very strangely. Right, where do I want to go? Let's try Mr. Bryden again. He might be in now. Oh, okay. Hi, Wally. This young fellow looks miserable. I don't think he's happy with us. Hello, Wally. Go away! You gave the door back to my sister. It wasn't very nice of you to bury her favourite toy, Wally. I gave it to the fair folk! And you stole it back from them! You don't really believe in fairies, do you? You're old enough to know better. They're real! And thanks to you, I'm cursed! There's no such thing as curses either, Wally. Go away! Yes, sir. Didn't want to see you anyway. I was on my way to Bryden. Mummy, what are you doing? Mummy? Get away from the fire, Thomasina. No. What are you burning? Nothing. Just waste. Now go inside. Ab. Abrax. <laughs> What is this? Waste. Burn it. Now, if you're a fan of supernatural like I am, you'll have twigged what a brax is. It's not the full word. There's a I won't, I won't say, um, but yeah, if you've watched Supernatural towards the later seasons, that, that might seem familiar. That's what I twigged when I was testing the game. I was like, ah, I know what that is. He's doing well to be maintaining all this land at his advanced stage. Good day, Mr. Bryden. Good Miss day. I... I'll stop you there. I know what you're going to ask. Yep. No, I haven't changed my mind. Why not? There'll be no digging here, lass. Oh, we want Mr. Bryden, allow me to explain. There's been an astonishing development this morning. Yes? My father was with your brother during the excavation. Oh. Yes. Can you believe it? No. I had no idea he had been here. The answer's still no, lass. I saw what happened to poor Samuel. I won't mm. risk the same happening to anyone else. But... That's enough now. You can feast your eyes on that hovel to your heart's content, but there'll be no digging. You wanna... you wanna bet? It is called the excavation of Hobbs Barrow, after all. No questions. I'm not interested. But... Off with you. He's not interested. Stop even asking. The empty bucket smells of rancid milk. 
a play. It's so good. What a wild looking thing. Is it Donna? <laughs> Easy girl. I'm not fond of goats at the best of times, but this one seems particularly disagreeable. Indeed. Right, we're about out of time. We can't get permission from Bryden. So I think we'll go back to the village square to leave it. There we go. So, oh, actually, now I'll try just do one thing. Mr. Crozier, I need your help. And then we'll call it. Good day. Hey up. Hey up. I'm having some trouble extricating a knife from a table in the plough and furrow. Might I borrow a pair of pliers? A knife, you see. I can get that out for you. That's very kind of you, Mr. Crozier. Think nothing of it. Wait here. Okay. That were a struggle. Mm -hmm. Here you are. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Well, I'm going to end the conversation because, like I say, I'm going to stop Thanks now. Thanks for your time. Hi. Speak to you later. Yes, I'll speak to you in the next part. But that's it. That we're we're about half an hour in. So, thank you for watching. Uh, the last part of this did really well for me. <laughs> uh, 16 views so far, which is fantastic. Building the channel very slowly, but we are getting a one subscriber at a time. I don't mind. I just enjoy making these videos and I'm glad people stop to watch them. I don't know how much you watch. It's entirely up to you. But... I know if it was me, I'd just watch them all because uh, it's a great game and um, it's fun to play, but I love watching other people play games too. So, you know, anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And, but for now, it's bye.